Hi, I'm Steve from Chemline. As part of Chemline's commitment to customer service, I'd like to share some preventative maintenance tips for you. A successful polyurethane spray application is very much driven by the care and attention given to the spray gun and items from our other videos, but preventative maintenance on your unit can be extremely beneficial. Here, we typically tell people to review the following preventative maintenance plan for hydraulic proportioning units. Hydraulic oil and internal and external filters is just like replacing the oil and filter in your car. We recommend changing the hydraulic oil every 1,000 hours of use or at least once every 12 months. Throat seal liquid, or TSL, is the pump's lubrication system. This prevents air introduction to the ISO piston, which can cause hardening of the A-side material. This is in the little plastic jar on the left side of the A-side proportioning unit. Check this fluid daily and weekly depending on your frequency of use, or change it when the TSL material becomes a gel, darkens, or becomes overly diluted with A and ISO as needed. The grease zerks on the recirculation drain valves, red and blue if they're so equipped, and on the horizontal pump assembly should receive one shot of grease every month. This helps to lubricate the metal to metal parts and keeps them from sticking or grinding. y screen or 20 mesh inlet filters should be checked and cleaned monthly. This part tends to trap junk and create pressure imbalances in the pumps. Always put fusion or luber plate white lithium grease on the thread fittings when reassembling. Here's a short checklist of other related items to check as well. Is your drum or tote agitator receiving its proper lubrication? This can vary by model and can also be auto oiled. It's just important to agitate or mix up the B-side before every use. This is because the B-side tends to settle or separate from the mix. Be aware of your air supply. Clean, dry air. Moisture in the air supply can interfere with the operation of your transfer pump. It can introduce moisture onto the substrate while spraying. An air dryer or chiller for your compressed air can prevent this from happening. Another thing to check regularly are your desiccant canisters or dryer right canisters. You'll see those on the top of each drum. As you're removing product from the tote or drum, this vent allows dry air to be pulled into the drum or tote. The indicator on the front of the canister is blue if it's active, and the indicator is pink when it's expired and needs to be changed. A few other general reminders for you. Always correct fluid or air leaks immediately. Stop operations and find the source of the leak. We never drive over or walk on a heated hose. We clean the gun and are clean our mix chamber impingement ports daily. We use fusion grease, an air purge, or prober gun anytime the gun is sitting idle for more than 15 minutes. Check for scratches on side seals and chambers when symptoms occur. If a new mix chamber is installed, always install new side seals. Thanks for watching this video from Chemline. We're committed to excellent customer service. Should you have any questions, please reach out to us at the number below. While you're here, feel free to watch the next video in our support series. You can also subscribe to get more videos in our series by hitting the bell icon on YouTube. Thanks for watching.